The desire for knowledge is something that sets human beings apart from the other animals. It's also something that helps explain the success of Oxford's very short introduction series. When people read these small books on topics ranging from globalization to dinosaurs, they're not just looking for entertainment or opinions. They want expertise. We don't just want sugar, we want protein. But it's a very interesting question what this desirable state of mind amounts to. My book in the VSI series is about knowledge itself and what sets knowing apart from just having an opinion. One factor is truth. It seems like in order to know, you have to be latched onto the truth. And indeed, you have to be latched onto it in a special way. If you hit the truth just by accident or by a lucky guess, it doesn't seem like you know. So philosophers have generated a lot of different theories about what counts as the right way of judging. Um, and they've used these theories to try and battle against the skeptic. The skeptic, of course, is the person who says that this might all be a dream. Maybe we don't know anything at all. It's an attractive position, but there's also something terrifying about it. My book explores some of the appeal of skepticism and some of the positive ways that philosophers have fought back against skepticism and developed theories of knowledge that try to show how knowledge is humanly attainable. Knowledge does seem to be attained in a great variety of ways. One of the interesting ways we seem to gain knowledge is testimony, being told things, looking things up on Wikipedia or reading them in a book. Um, but it's an interesting question how this works. If I just tell you something right now, like I tell you that temperatures as low as minus 89 degrees Celsius have been recorded in Antarctica, do you know it just on the basis of hearing it from me? Maybe not. Maybe in order to know that fact, you'd have to hear it from an expert. You'd have to read the very short introduction to the Antarctic, for example, which is a great book. Uh, it'll give you knowledge not just about the temperatures recorded or penguins, but also some very interesting stuff in geopolitics. But later, after you've acquired a great deal of knowledge from that book, if you become interested in what your state of mind really amounts to, my VSI and knowledge itself is there to help. Um, it's full of protein and a little sugar. <laughs>